where they may. And they're going to fall right now again in the men's gold medal match as we get set for our final showdown of the day here on Reek of Scar Compound Saturday. It'll be recurved Sunday tomorrow, but right now, the final compound match of the day. And it features this man, Esmael Abadi from Iran, who has been on a tear this summer. This week here in Brodsvoff, he defeated Mike Schlosser of the Netherlands by three in the quarterfinals, and then he dumped Martin Damsbo by a deuce. Of course, Martin having trouble with his release in that match and having problems here today as well. But Abadi able to take advantage and get to the gold medal match representing Iran. And today, as we take a look at Esmael Abadi, ranked 27th in the world, 39 years old, and it has been a great season for him. Took a team silver medal home from Shanghai, stage one. Was part of that gold medal team from Iran at the World Championships in Copenhagen two weeks ago as Iran came from behind to catch and beat Team Canada. Today, he'll be taking on this young man from India, Abhishek Verma. Verma winning his quarterfinal match by three, then edged out by Steve Anderson by one. Or he edged Steve Anderson, I should say, by one. And so, Verma is in this gold medal match. They, these two have met before. In fact, Abadi has beaten Verma in their two previous meetings, once in the final of the 2014 Asian Games. Here in Wrocław, this will be their first World Cup gold medal match. So uh, Verma with a little bit of shot at revenge right now. Yeah, yeah, he's, he shot well. I mean, he took me out, so I know how that, you know. In a shoot-off. In a shoot-off, yep, he did. We we shot 148s, and, and he actually, Verma shot good. I mean, even at the World Championships, he was the number one qualifier when it was all said and done, which after 72 hours, he was the top guy in the field. So to me, that's that means a guy can shoot. There's no question about it. So he's been kind of on a roll. So we'll see if it carries out through the day. And, and both guys having been out on the field, and is it Burma who was out there earlier? Is he gonna shoot one out the right leg we talked about? Is is it gonna be the guy from Iran who's just out there a little bit? You know, you never know, you know, about he, they're both good shooters. It should be a good match. Ibadi, who's gotten a lot of attention in his home nation after his performances this summer, starts out a little bit low. Yeah. A little bit of cloud cover now coming over Centennial Hall. That's for fire. That's for fire. It starts it off right, yep. Sun is shining on Ebeshek Verma. Paranines. Very intense. Oh, solid. Like I said, in, even in our uh, match this morning, he shot well. You know, watch him in his match this morning. He shot well. Well, both of them did. Ivadi did too. Body finally zeroes in. Catches that 10 ring. I'm not happy with it. You can see he's not. Not pleased. No, not at all. Excellent. You can't ask for a better start, no. can you? No, and they, the Indian team's come along well in the last while. I mean, he, they come and spend time in uh, in Utah. I actually trained with my dad. He did some coaching with him, so they've had some pretty good success since then. You mean Deke can still uh, shoot a little bit? Yeah, and he can tell a lot of guys out. He's done it for a lot of years. He's taught me plenty. So. What's the best lesson your dad taught you? Actually, it's funny. It's kind of what we talked about this morning. It was something that we talked about moving our site. Mm -hmm. He gave me a bad time because we were at a tournament in Grand Junction, Colorado, shooting, and I shot a group that was really good, but just few were in, few were out, and they were just a really, really tight group. And he goes, hey, kid, you paid a lot of money for that site. You ought to use them knobs and move it. <laughs> You know, we just laughed, and, and it's been something that I've known and stuck with me for a lot of years. So it's just one of them funny things that. Was it tough being coached by your dad? <sighs> yeah, a little bit. Because, you you know, you have those times, just like a husband and wife, they don't want to listen, they don't, you know, because they don't always know. But I would say the one cool part about having my dad be where he was in this sport, I got to know a lot of different pros. I got to meet a lot of them. I got to ask them a lot of questions. So to me, I, 
the things my dad do is what he does. And there's a lot of things that I've learned from a lot of other pros that I've incorporated to what he's taught me and everything else. So I've been really blessed and lucky that way. Down by two, Vodema shoots, for, or excuse me, a body shoots first. Puts up at 10. Throws down the gauntlet for Vodema, who gives back a point. Yeah. And that can be a plus. You're not feeling like you're worried about cleaning okay. it anymore after that. Can that could that have been part of his thought process? But he, he gets a nine right back, like we talked earlier. Yeah. If a guy shoots a nine, does it does it put the pressure on? Say, oh, I can get closer, and then oh. That's for fact, Dana. Yeah. Got a good grip on Solid. things. And he's doing a good job of focusing. I mean, he stayed like in our match. He stayed together really well, and he works hard. He's well, that's my, yeah. Another nine. I was watching Burma as uh, body was shooting. And just how he, you were mentioning, he stays with him in himself. Yeah. The air goes in, the air goes out. Yeah. Breathe. That's all. And look back. What kind of payoff he gets. Yeah. And all, he missed the one low, but if you look at his group, he's got a solid group, and they're all in the, he don't have anything even up to the, the middle of the X-ring. His group's all on that low side. So, again, maybe we need to move our sight. Because that's always a hard part coming from a practice field to the live field. How are you going to react? Is it going to be that I get really strong with my bow arm and I push them out the top? Mm -hmm. Am I really strong with my my draw and I, I pull a little hard and then go out the bottom? You know, it just it's it's so much a teeter totter to to what little thing's going to go to cause where that arrow goes. It's a lot of variables, mm -hmm. and they all seem to play in at one point in time or another. Right now, a body trying to get things figured out a little bit, but he's in a tough spot down by three, trailing 59-56. Irma in a good spot right now, leading by three. Yeah, super spot in our division. I mean, <laughs> considering I watched a lot of his matches, he didn't, Irma didn't miss more than four points in an entire match. Well, he started out the summer strong with the team bronze medal at stage one in Shanghai. Won a mixed team silver medal here in Vrotswaf last year. The body. Bang. Needs lots more of those to give himself a shot and hope for a little bit of help. A direct hit for a body. And a direct hit for Abhishek Verma. Yeah. Back and forth we go. The bad part is if you're a body, you're hoping for some help. You know, you're like, it's it's still early in the match, but you're still. That's odd, man. Him putting him in the middle does not help. And no. now he's back up. He's in the top of the 10. Those two arrows are the first two above center. So maybe he did move his sight. Solid. They ratchet it up. Yeah, and, and does he get is he gonna get any help at all, or is right. it right? Is he just gonna hold him off of the? Will it do him any good at all? Oh. No. Nope. nope. Because Verma's able to answer. Yeah. Each of those three tens by a body answered by Verma. Wow. And so the lead will stay at three. 89-86. As here comes the arrows back, did you like? <laughs> yeah, we get we get the little Kia ready to go. That's a job when I retire and drive the car. Oh yeah. <laughs> arrows are back. The car heads back down towards the other end, and we'll be set to go here momentarily. Asmael Abadi. We hadn't seen much of him for a couple of years and all of a sudden comes out on the World Cup circuit this year and has done so well. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, the circuit's so interesting because a guy will have a really amazing year to come out of nowhere. And, you know, the curiosity is do they keep it up or do they not? I mean, we've had... Things happen in life. Things yeah. happen yeah, in sports. And uh, people can come and then they can go and then they can come back again. Yeah. The body bearing down. Trying to catch up. Fantastic. Verma is holding him off. 
And his coach said fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, the one arrow out is all, and that's solid. I shall not. And in. close. Nine or ten. I'm going to go with Real Wild. If Real Wild says it's a 10, it's a 10. What's up? That's there. No doubt about that. Yeah, he's shooting really good. So a body in danger. Come on, become sedent. Falling even further back. Irma. Drops right another there. dime. Yeah. Relentless. Yeah, he's rolling. He is rolling right now. Obviously, it'd be a huge win for him. Well, like I said, he's he's shot well. I mean, in our second half at the World Championships, he shot a 350. When everybody else was down, way down. I mean, I know I shot a 342 right there, and and he he put it on us all. So he's been coming on, Abhishek Verma. As you see, Deepika Kumari, she'll be out here on the field tomorrow on Recurve Sunday. As the residents of Rotswav. It should be fun. There should be some cool. good, good matches tomorrow. There will be many good matches. So we hope you'll all be back tomorrow with us on Archery TV for Recurve Sunday here at stage three. Wear your shorts, your flip-flops. Yeah, I'll, I'll be out here supporting the team. Yeah, and we'll go wading in the pond a little bit, too. Yeah, I might do that. I'll bring might my... Might have to. <laughs> Maybe try your little lay down instead of a jump in, but... I shall ask my hand, Well, he's keeping the pressure on. I mean, he's really not giving a lot, but... Not going firm away. Firm is solid. He is really... Off back. I may have gave him one there, but I think she might have caught. From our angle, it's tough to tell, but I think she's there. So far in this match, Abhishek Verma has only missed the 10 ring Once. with one yeah. shot. That was his first shot of the second end. Since one since then and before that, yeah. he's been perfect. Yep, yeah, there's another one. He's got one a more dance. and a 149. That's a pretty good go. gold medal round. There aren't yeah. many guys that can can put that on their hat. I shall last win. Strong finish for her body. Yep. But seven to win, I, I would say he's got this one pretty well done. Eyes it, tries it, and buys yep. it. There it is. The gold yep. medal goes to Abhishek Verma of India. Yeah, and a super nice guy. Super nice guy. A huge win for him. A great win for his country. And India claims gold here in Poland as Abhishek Verma comes back after this morning's match. In that men's bronze medal match, India lost to Italy 233 to 230, but Verma more than makes up for that with a gold medal here in the individual match play.